Hey, what's happening, folks? Sex Boy Not One here, and I got some packs to open for you guys. I was going to wait until this Friday to open up these packs, but since this week's football outsider cards are pretty pathetic, I'm not going to open packs on Friday. Instead, open them right now. The outsiders this week are Brian Arakpo, Kevin Beecham, or Kelvin Beecham, Vontae Davis, Jeff Schwartz, and Justin Tucker. So, there really isn't anything there I'm really happy about pulling on Friday, and you guys know my luck anyway. I haven't pulled Outsider like in like four or five months, so I'm going to go ahead and open up these packs. Hopefully I can get a fantasy cap of Munderland. They also got this collection for this Jamal Charles, which is right here, so I'll go ahead and open this topper right here so I can get this out of the way. I know what it's going to be. Week 15, I wonder what this is going for. That Jamal Charles is like a 97 overall halfback, 98 speed, 99 looseness, a pretty great card, so I'm going to assume it's going to be worth some coin there, so I'm going to try to sell that really, really quick, but let's hope. Let's just hope I get something good out of these packs. Let's see. I need that Cap Merlin. If I pull him, I'd be cool with that. Cap Merlin would be a nice pull, but really any fantasy card for that matter that's going for a little bit of coin would be nice as well. Merlin's a 94. Or 94, I believe they got a, also got a Greg Jennings in packs. And they got a bunch of other cards that are pretty useless. So, Adam Podlish. That's the Bears punter. What we got here? Oh, 89 overall Bobby Wagner. That's about 5,000 coins there. So, good start so far. Terrence Cody no longer going for anything. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the bronze car. That's all the silver stuff. All this good stuff to my reserves and quick sell the rest. Should go ahead and sell that, but not really going to hold on to it. Get out. Oh, I need a contract. I need a contract. Dream Cream might dislike the video if I, dis if I discard that. All right, let's go ahead and send that to reserves. And let's go ahead and open these. Are, these are all pro packs. All right. Can I get something great? Last time I pulled three of these, I got a... What was his name? Chino Atkins. So let's hope my luck continues with the elite side of these packs. I've seen some crazy pulls so far. Peyton Manning, Lawrence Taylor, Munderland, all that great stuff out of these packs. Joe Berger. What we got out of this one? <laughs> yeah, off the bat, just troll me with Deacon Jones, Pat Angerer, defensive player for the Philadelphia Eagles, and nothing else there. I wonder if I can pull some collectibles because those things are very hard to pull. I need Godfrey. Actually, I'm going to do what I did last time. Let's go ahead and send the silver stuff to my, or gold and silver, and this rookie legend. Everybody's buying these rookies so crazy right now. They think the rookie legend collection is going to come out sometime soon, but I don't think it is. So, if you guys got rookie cards, you're not really using them, I would say go ahead and get rid of them right now because people are trying to buy the load, buy my boatload. So, that might be a good way to make coins if everybody keeps trying to sell these rookie legends for a lot. It seems kind of crazy. First pack was a dud. Second pack, what we got out of this one? Can we get a fantasy item? Out of one of these packs, Thomas Decoud, Asante Samuel, and oh, okay, Mike Denham, Gold Coach. All right, that's about 4,000 coins there, probably. And Sydney Rice, so nothing else there. That's a better pack, though. A lot of gold in that pack. It doesn't pay for it if you guys do the math. 45,000 coins not really worth buying a pro pack. That's why you usually buy it with MSP because it's a better deal. But with coins, it's stupid. But I don't, I don't know. If you buy these packs of coins, you're just... I don't know what's wrong with you. You're so, there's something wrong with you. If you buy these packs of coins, that's, it's, just, it's just dumb because you, you're not getting no value out of it. You're spending 25,000 coins on three gold cards versus spending 20... Was it 2250 for the same three, three gold cards? So hopefully, hopefully you guys are learning your lessons and not buying these with actual coins. That'd be kind of dumb. Five packs to go. Can I get something good? Can I get something good? I need something good. I need something in my bones to make me like, go happy. Give me something. Injury. Washington races playbook offense. I'm holding on to that one. I might be worth some coins. Kendrick Ellis. All right. So, yeah. Give me a Give me this. I don't know why he's in the game. So, a lot of my claims not in anybody's team. Why is he in this game? Captain Munderland. Yes. I got my cornerback, Captain Munderland. Look at this guy. 95 man. 95. 95. 93 speed. 92 zone. Better play recognition. I can the press is kind of high. That seems kind of high for a five foot eight cornerback, but I can deal with that. We got captain though. We got captain. All right, got the captain of my defense right here sent to our actors. I wanted that guy's card. It's probably going for around forty thousand coins now. I might be better off selling him, picking him up later, but I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to him, and we'll send the rest of this stuff to my reserves. But the dark uniform and that, and the filming can stay here too. Sent to my reserves. We got Captain though. We got a fan. We got the high high fantasy card this week. At least the highest fantasy card. I like last week, which was a kicker. I'm tired of these kickers, man. There's so many kickers coming into this game. We had the Matt Prater last week. Now we have the stupid Justin Tucker coming out this week. I don't mind kickers at all, but don't make these guys like like featured cards. Seems kind of obnoxious. I'm going to assume Justin Tucker is not going to be better than Matt Prater. If you guys are wondering, I'm going to assume he's going to have like a 90. 97 kick power, same as bronze map Prater, so, ooh, he's rookie legend, stop it, oh my, bleep, if I get, mother, I'll, uh, yeah, 
Mother, I want to cuss now. Really? Like, you don't give me a cap money and give me two rookie legends, though? Like, that's how we going to do things here? Two rookie legends? <laughs> two rookie legends? Oh, my goodness. That is so dumb. Leotis McKelvin and Greg Toiler are right, getting some silver cards that are in the actual silver team collection, so I can probably go ahead and sell those, and we can quick sell that as well. All right. If I can get a real legend, though, if I can get a real legend, they keep teasing me. They keep teasing me. These mother bleeping, bleeping legends. Stephen Gregory or St Steve Gregory. And I keep giving these guys names that ain't really a real name. Antoine Barnes, Jim Harbaugh, Stevie Johnson, 89 overall. So about 2,000 coins there. Dustin Keller out for the season. Raheem Moore and a rock pile collectible. So, all right, we'll take that pack. Pretty good there as well, but not as much as the pack would have cost to buy by itself, but that's still pretty good. About probably. About five, probably seven, eight thousand coins. So that's pretty, pretty bad, but it's still pretty good at the same time. Over being consistent right now. Quick sell the rest of it. Jim Harbaugh, nothing else there for coin. Nope. All right, can I get at least another fantasy collectible so I can go ahead and sell that for some coin? Another fantasy collectible do me wonders. I'm tired of these gold collectibles. Give me a fantasy collectible and stop toying with these rookie legends. Stop toying with these rookie legends. Samson Satelli. All right, Tashawn Gibson, 90 overall free safety. So I'm getting fantasies. I can't complain. I'm getting fantasies. Junior Galette. I was going to do that collection, but it really wasn't worth it. It's like 30,000 coins, and I wasn't about to do that. I went ahead and just decided against it. But Sean Gibson had a pretty self good week against them Chicago Bears. Look at that. Two tackles for losses, two pass breakups, two I INTs, and one TD. So, good game out of that guy. Go ahead and send it to our actives right now. I'm going to compare him later on to another free safety on my team I might be getting rid of. <laughs> All right. Alexander, Dan Connolly, Junior Gallette, and Sam Cincitelli, and worth my contracts, and those two reserves. And we'll come back and get rid of the rest of this stuff right here. Another Jim Harbaugh. Stop giving me Jim Harbaugh. Stop it. Stop doing that. All right, let's go. One more pack. One pack. What we got of this last pack? Oh, I got a gold card right away. I'm going to go ahead and reveal all. We're going to go ahead and reveal all right here. Reveal all. All right, Ladarius Webb. Bid Jones and Tory Smith. So nothing out of that last pack. But hey, we got a couple of fantasy items. We got a we got kind of got lucky as well getting some some of the gold collectible. Nothing too amazing out of this pack opening. Wasn't like amazing, but it was still pretty good. It was still pretty good. I don't want to be negative, but it was still pretty good. I can't be too hard. I got Cap Merlin. I got the guy I wanted to come and get, and Madden treated me right this time. I pulled packs for Cam Newton. I did not get him, but luckily I got Cap Merlin, so can't complain about that. I'm going to go ahead and show you those cards in a second. Get rid of the red. Nope, I don't want to, I want to quick sell these. I want to get rid of these off my team. Alright, let's go ahead and look at these two fantasy items in that insert I got. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Alright. Let's check these things out real quick. Alright, so the best cards. You got 94 Captain Munderlin. All right, 95, 95 men, no. We got 90 overall free safety to Sean Gibson, and we got this 57-yard TD catch. I hope, I hope this freaking just Justin Smith, this uh, Charles, Jamal Charles is this basically the same, like what the Calvin Johnson collect was going for. That one was going for like, like 40K easily, so I'm going to assume that everybody bought these, so maybe I might have to sell this thing later on, but if its price is high right now, I'm going to get coins for it. But that is the video, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like on the video if you did. I am the Texas boy. I am out of this mother bleeper. And before I go, leave a comment below of what cards you pulled during this All Pro Pack bundle. If you open, if you open any, what cards did you pull? But anyway, peace.